Welcome everybody. In this episode we are going to make a simple substitution cipher. Um, it's a cipher is when we uh, encrypt plain text like a message and so that we go from something that makes sense to something that doesn't make sense so that in case somebody intercepts the message then they won't know what it, what it means unless they have the code the cipher to decrypt it, the message. So let's get started. So we are going to write the algorithm first. So what we need to do is get the message um, from the user. And then what we want to do is loop through the message and change letters to its Unicode equivalent and then what we want to do is um, print print out the um, Unicode numbers Okay, so that is the steps. And then, so let's write the text. So first of all, we're gonna create a variable. We'll just name it message. And we'll create an input prompt. So please enter the message to encode. And then we're going to use a for loop to for, a for each loop to walk through uh, each letter in the message. And we can use the for each loop because a string is like an array. Each letter is at an index starting at zero and going to the end of the string. So we'll say for ch, and you could put any variable name there. That's our counter in message. I used ch because ch stands for character and then so for each character in the message we want to print out the unicode value for that letter so there's a python meth method that does that called ord and we want each letter or each character and that character remember is referenced by its index number so the first time through the loop the index number will be zero and it will take the first letter in the message and change it to its Unicode value and then print it out. And when we get to the end, we want to have a blank space. And then to print the message out in the end, we're going to say print now we're going to use a backslash n. This is an escape sequence. That means user return. And we're going to start with a message. Here are the Unicode codes. And we'll also just give it a give a blank line because we're going to um, later on in the next episode we're going to. Um, allow create the program and make it go do over and over again if the user wants to okay so let's go ahead and save this so we'll run it And we need a place to save it. So I'm just going to create a folder here. And this is my Unicode cipher. And this is cipher one, first version. So cipher version one.py. So we can enter our message. Say this is a cool program.
and here are the Unicode numbers. And so we get the whole Unicode. Now what we might want to do is reason that we're getting dark letters here is because I didn't save it with a .py. So I'm going to go file save as and add a .py to the file name. And now I get the different colors. Oh, and I need a space in between here. So let's try this again. And again, we get the same result. Okay, so we might want to put this into, um, if we want them all to be on one line, then, and we want this to come out first, then what we need to do is put this above our for loop. And now as it goes through, it's going to print those out and it's going to print them on one line. But instead of printing them, let's add them to a variable and then print out the result so it's all on one line. So what we can do is make a variable that says um, something like result and then we're going to use is equal to um, or at ch plus I'm going to use result plus or at ch and we will need to define result before we can use it so we're going to put in a message up here I mean a variable that says result is equal to a blank string so now the first time through the loop result won't have anything in it but then we're going to add the character to it. And then what we want to do is at the end, we want to print out result. So we're going to take this print statement and put it down here. And we also maybe want a space after each letter. So we can also put in a space. Let's see how that works. Let's run it and see what we get. I seem to be having a problem with Python, so I'm going to stop the video and restart Python. All right, so I restarted Python and I am now going to run it. What I changed was this uh, str and this turns this, after it changes the character into a number, we want to turn it back into a string so that we can print the result. If we don't turn it back into a string, it says it cannot um, add a string to or add a number to a string because we set message up as a string here. So check your code line by line and make sure you have the same thing I do and then go ahead and run it and it asks you to enter the message. So down here we can say um, cryptology is cool and then we'll run it and here are your numbers that symbolize letters. Alright, so in the next session we'll learn how to decrypt the numbers back into text. See you next time.